Hey guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create a reusable KDP paperback cover template so that you can reuse the same template to create multiple low content or no content book files. And it'll have the bleed and the spine and all that already built in. So now the pro version of Canva has a template feature built in. That's really cool. So I highly recommend the pro version. Um, but in this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to use the free version to create a, temp a reusable template. Because it is possible, even though they don't have a template version. It is possible. So to begin with, I need to know what the dimensions of my file are going to be. So to get those, I begin at the Kindle Direct Publishing at their paperback cover templates page, which I'll link in the description below. You'll give it your trim size, your page count, and your paper color, and yes, that makes a difference, and then download the cover template. Now what they'll give you is a zip file that has both a PDF and a PNG file. Now to get the dimensions of these files, most systems allow you to right click on the file. On a Mac you would do Get Info, and on versions of Windows it's Properties. Now on this window, it'll show you the dimensions, and these are the pixel dimensions that you're going to need for Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy those before I head back to Canva. Now that I have the dimensions for my file, I'll go back to Canva and click the Custom Dimensions link and paste those dimensions into the width and height. and click Create New Design. In order to lay out the elements of my cover to the correct dimensions and not go into the bleed or unprintable area, I want to add that template file that KDP gave me as the background for my template. So over in Uploads, I've already uploaded the file, but you can click Upload an Image to add it. Now the PNG file that KDP gives you is probably too big to upload to Canva, in which case you'll have to reduce the file size. I used Photoshop to do this, but if you Google um, PNG reducer or image resizer, there's lots of online programs that will do it for you for free. So once you have that KDP template file in Canva, click and drag it over to your canvas but wait until it shows as the background file before you release your mouse. And then it'll set it as the background image rather than just another image that you have to resize and move around to fit the dimensions. In this case, as the background file, it fits perfectly and we're ready to go. So now I'm going to add all of the design elements that I would normally add to a KDP book cover, including my title, my author, a background color and spine text and maybe even a spine color too. So I'm actually going to work from the text first and then the background so my template doesn't get covered up. So to begin with I'll go over to the text tab and add a heading as my title. Now in order to stay out of the bleed area what I'll do is I'll change the dimensions of the text box to be on the edges of the bleed area, which is this orange, reddish orange area. Now you have to keep all text out of that bleed area. So by setting the dimensions of the text box, if I were to, for example, increase the text size, instead of bleeding into the spine and the bleed area, the text will wrap onto a new line and stay out of that bleed area for us. So this can be my book title. I also want to add one to the spine. So I'll type my text and then click these circular arrows below it in order to rotate it and I'll turn it to the left until it says 90 degrees. So now I know that my text is vertically up and down. Now I'll increase the, the text size and increase the text box as necessary, but I want to make sure that the font stays outside of that orange area. 
And then what I'll do is I'll click and drag the box so that that pink line sh shows to show that it's centered horizontally. And then I'll move it up and down until the horizontal line appears to show that it's now centered vertically as well. And because the text is set to be aligned centered, when I change the book title when I'm creating a cover, it'll stay centered both vertically and horizontally. I'll add one more text for my author. And again, I'll readjust the text box so it's between those bleed lines. So now that I have all my text elements, I want to add my background colors. So now the background colors that I add for this first template page are not, don't have to be the template colors for all of my covers. We're just setting up an object that we can edit later as a template file. So first I'm going to do the spine. So I'm going to go over to the elements and then under shapes select the square and click and drag it onto your book cover. And then adjust it so it's as tall as your book cover template. And then make it as wide as you want it to be. Now on Canva, the minimum width of a rectangle is larger than the spine itself. So it will show on your front and back cover if you choose to do a rectangle for your spine color. So if you click and drag it again, we want to see that pink line, so it's showing us that it is now centered horizontally. And you can change the color by clicking the color box in the upper left. And now I want to add another rectangle for my background color. And I'll click and drag it till the pink lines show me it's aligned in the corner. And then change the dimensions so it fills the background. But now you can see the background's covering everything, so I want to rearrange the elements so that this one is in the back. So to do that, click Position, and then to Back. And now do that with the spine, except do backwards until your spine text shows. So now my template is ready to be used to create new covers. Now there's two different ways that you can use this as a template. You can either go up to File, make a copy to create a whole new document, or what I like to do is I'll actually just duplicate or copy this page to create a new version. Now that I have a second page, I can adjust the content to create an actual cover. So for example, I can change the color, I can change the title, I can also upload pre-made artwork that I've made by going back to that Uploads tab and clicking Upload an Image or clicking and dragging it onto the Upload panel and then clicking and dragging it onto my book cover. Once your cover artwork is all ready to be uploaded to KDP, go to Publish in the upper right and click the Download option. Instead of the PNG, you'll want a PDF print quality. And instead of all pages, you want just the page that contains your cover file, unless you did multiple ones at once and you want to download them all together in a zip file. But in this case, I just want page two, which was the copy in my artwork and then click Done. 
and click Download to download the file. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you need to know to be successful on your KDP journey.